how do you make a transparent gradient here in Photoshop? Anytime you want to make a gradient transparent, what you need to do is simply go from the same color to itself and then lower the transparency of the second part of that color. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say we just want to add a gradient fill layer. So if we come down here in our layers panel, we can find this little option here where we can create a new fill or adjustment layer. So we're going to create a new fill layer of a gradient. So this is a gradient fill layer. And we can select the gradient here, and then we can make adjustments to it. So let's say I wanted this color to actually be like a dark blue of some sort, and press OK. Now, I'm going to get rid of this red color just by clicking and dragging down. And what I want to do is hold Option or Alt if you're on Windows, and click and drag this other color out. So what we've done, and I just kind of messed that up, but we'll just drag it out here. What we've done here is we've gone from the same color to itself, but the opacity changes. So if we click on this top point here, this is the opacity. We're going to go from 100% down to 0%. That's what makes this an actual transparent gradient. And when you go from the same color to itself, the transparency is the only thing that changes. If we were to choose another color here, it would kind of affect that coloring here in the middle of our gradient. I'm going to press OK. And this is, of course, a linear gradient. We can adjust the angle of it if we want. We're just going to do that right there and press OK. So here's how you know it's transparent. Obviously, we have this gradient out here. But underneath the gradient fill, which has transparency as a part of it. We also have a color fill or anything. You could have an image, you could have a pattern, you could have just a layer that you've painted on, anything below this, a shape, anything like that. But this is a color fill layer, which means it's just a solid color and I can double click on this thumbnail to then change the color. Here's where you can really see that it's transparent. I can change the color underneath and you can see how it goes from that 100% transparency down to zero, and it blends with whatever's underneath. We could go green, we could go yellow, we could go orange. Like, we can make those kind of changes. We could even do blue if we wanted to. And this gradient is transparent. We can click OK. Now, anywhere that you apply a gradient, we can do that. So let's go back. Let's just undo that. Go back to this pink. And we have a gradient fill, right? It's just like a gradient across our whole... Um, our whole canvas. But what if we wanted to add it to like an object? Let's make a circle out here. We're going to go to the rectangle tool, click and hold and go to the ellipse tool, and I'm going to create a circle by holding shift while I click and drag. So we've got a circle. Now I can add a gradient fill to this layer or any layer just by double clicking to the right of the layer name and adding a gradient overlay layer style. This gradient overlay has a lot of different options, but to get that transparency we need to click on the gradient and go do the exact same thing. I'm going to remove these two. I'm going to duplicate this guy over, holding Option or Alt on PC, and then clicking and dragging out. And now we have those two colors. There's an issue here, and we'll fix it here in a second. But the first color we need to make sure is 100% opacity, and the second color is 0. So we're going to type in 0 to opacity there and press Enter. And that commits everything. So you can see the gradient is correct. But then we have this blend mode of multiply. I actually just want it to be normal. And so now that we have that, it's not going to affect the color of our gradient. But why is there red? Well, the ellipse that we chose actually has a fill. There's two different ways we could probably knock that out, but I have a feeling that we should do it in a certain way. So let's hit OK to this layer style. We have a gradient out here on this circle. We can go edit it later, no problem. But in the appearance panel of this shape, we actually have a fill on it. We can click on that fill and click none. Now our gradient applies and our fill does not. So you can see how we have this sort of transparent gradient circle instead of that red fill. And we can go back and double click on this gradient overlay to go directly to it and make edits to it if we want. We could reverse this. We can uh, change the direction of it. We could change the scale of it up and down, which kind of like is this. The scale is sort of like how long or how far does that gradient that you choose, like where does it apply? Does it apply from this little tiny space here or can you scale that up to apply more across the entire design? 
So you can affect that right there, but you can also affect that by moving these points right here and moving the midpoints. You can change a lot of different things here with your gradient just by adjusting like where the transparency is, where it starts, where it stops. So you can see you can create some pretty cool effects out here with these transparent gradients. You can also dither, which helps with some of the banding effect that you might get. And then you can try any of these different effects like this linear effect, classic effect, this perceptual effect. So that just kind of changes how that gradient appears. And speaking of, I mean, hey, I just told you about the dither effect. It adds some noise, but if you still see some banding in there, here's, a, here's another little tip. You can go up to filter, down to noise, and add some noise in there. Uh, we'll have to convert this ellipse to a smart object. That's fine. I'll show you how to get back to it to adjust it. We'll convert it to a smart object. And then look at that, we've got some noise in here. We can check uniform or Gaussian and then just kind of tweak the amount of noise we want in there. So that's a pretty cool effect and you can hit okay. We've got some noise now in that gradient. You can kind of see that in there, which adds a little bit of texture to our design. But yeah, you can do anything here and that's how you can add a transparent gradient here in Photoshop.